Hello, this is a quick video on using Hairstrand Designer, just getting set up and installing everything. So when you download the zip folder, you right click and do extract to Hairstrand Designer. And that's everything extracted. So then you want to open up this file here and it will load up the program. Uh, you want to enable these maps and then generate. And when it's generated your maps, you can right click to preview what they look like. So make sure you've got actual data in here, because if they are disabled and you generate, these maps will get cleared. And when you try and export, it's only going to export your RGB mask if that's the only thing enabled. So you need to enable these, generate, and right click to see each of the maps and you're good to export. So to export, just click this little icon here and you should see a pop-up box. Sometimes it tries to hide behind. So choose a folder. So I'm just gonna make a temp folder here on the downloads and just give things a name and demo. I'm just gonna copy that part of the name because it's gonna ask for each file uh, a name. So I'll just paste each of these. Okay, so that's it complete. Uh, I'll go back to my downloads and temp folder and I can see the, the PNG files here. So I'll just preview them. Okay, that's them loaded up now. Took a lot of work. Okay, just gonna refresh and I should see them here. Okay, so that's it, save the PNG files and you can go ahead and open them in Photoshop. If you're having trouble uh, seeing these, make sure that you have extracted here because there is a chance you could run the program from here. And if you try to save files, then it probably won't work. So I'll just try it now, just to see if I'm right or not. Uh, I'm just gonna call this test. I've just had one or two users having bugs where it's not actually saving the files out. Now, something's gone wrong here. Yeah, so already I don't think it likes the fact that. In fact, no, I've only got only got color map and RGB enabled, right? So only saved two maps. So just make sure you enable the maps that you want to generate first. Uh, I'm just going to check that it actually did those, and true enough, it did. So in theory, you don't have to extract uh, the files. Maybe if there's any sort of antivirus or anything running, then uh, that won't work. But that's basically the process to use to export your maps. And ev even if you don't name them, uh, you know, with any naming, it should still save the maps. So let me know if there's any more issues with that. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.